today we are going to deal with dopamine you know dopamine action is it is a vasopressor it is one of the best emergency drugs and you know that dopamine action depends upon the dose you know that in between 1 to 2 mcg per kg per minute dopamine will lead to vasodilation that means it will improve the blood flow to the cerebral artery coronary artery renal artery and mesenteric artery that means it will improve the blood flow to the brain heart kidney and stomach so once again in between 1 to 2 mcg per kg per minute it will improve the blood flow to the brain heart kidney and stomach and at intermediate dose that means in between 5 to 10 mcg per kg per minute dopamine can improve the cardiac output that you mean that you know that cardiac output formula is heart rate into stroke volume you know that at 5 to 10 mcg per kg per minute dopamine will act as a chronotropic as well as inotropic agent chronotropic means what it will improve the heart rate and inotropic means it will improve the stroke volume what do you mean by stroke volume stroke volume is the amount of blood ejected from the left ventricle so once again at intermediate dose in between 5 to 10 mcg per kg per minute you want to think that it will dopamine will help to improve the cardiac output and at last at high dose that means about 10 mcg per kg per minute dopamine can lead to vasoconstriction and it will increase the systemic vascular resistance if systemic vascular resistance increases it will decrease the cardiac output so that is all about dopamine once again you want to remember at low dose in between 1 to 2 mc mcg per kg per minute dopamine can lead to vasodilation at intermediate dose it will improve the cardiac output and at high dose dopamine can lead to vasoconstriction and decrease the cardiac output so that's all about dopamine see you all with another video thank you